As each police officer ends his shift, he reports on the arrests and activities of the day. That information gets put into a daily report circulated to several dozen police officials. A monthly report is also issued. But police now have no efficient way to keep track of trends and patterns on a day-to-day -day basis. To take care of that problem, the Atlanta Police Department will begin a new crime analysis program. It's being tested now in Zone 1. There, when officers hand in their yellow field information forms, they are given to a member of the Crime Analysis Unit. That person transfers the information to a special analysis form and will later correlate the facts to see if any patterns are emerging. For instance, a method of burglary or an area that seems vulnerable to assaults. Right now, correlation of that information is also done by hand, but soon police hope to make use of a computer in order that that information may be more accessible to other law enforcement authorities, including the task force. Police officials, though, say the new crime analysis system was not designed especially for the children's cases. I think it will enhance the effectiveness of the police force. I think we will be able to make more arrests, uh, particularly in serious crimes. I think we'll be able to have a better handle on what's going on in the city. That's because commanders can then use the information to reassign their officers and perhaps prevent crimes from occurring. Members of the Crime Analysis Unit will be chosen from police personnel later this week. The program itself is scheduled to start around the 1st of May. Hank Phillippe, Action News.